what do I think was harder? What was more frustrating? Was it Malekith? No. Not even close to Malekith. Dude. I need to make a tier list or something. Because there's no way some of these bosses just existed in the way they did. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do an Elden Ring boss tier list. With an angry kitty in the background. Alright. We're gonna do an Elden Ring tier list for the bosses that I did. Uh, let's see if I can actually get some of these down. Alright, I think I did all these. I think all these are the ones I did. Now that that's all done, I'm just gonna go down the list. Starting with Adon. Now, Adon was a pretty frustrating fight for me because I think I did it a little earlier than I needed to. Um, and it caused me a little bit of trouble. But I feel like it was fine overall. Alabaster Lord is one of the, the um, Ever Jails, right? Which I think most of them were okay, fine. Electo was frustrating, but it wasn't terrible. It's just a normal, a normal Electo thing, right? But it's got this like Malekith sort of style of attacks. So it just, I don't know, left, left it, sort of left a, a bad taste in my mouth for all of this entire thing. Uh, all right, so Estelle. Estelle was frustrating at first because I think I was underleveled the initial time I did it, obviously. I think I was underleveled for a lot of these bosses, honestly, except for like late game when I actually started grinding and did all this sort of stuff. So just say I was underleveled for literally everything. So Estelle, I left and came back and sort of just didn't really have too much of a trouble with him, but Estelle as a fight was okay, was fine. Just sort of existing. Beastman is meh. Uh, bell bearing hunter I didn't do. I kind of got my bells bearinged uh, several times, so I just sort of ignored it and ran away and left. Uh, Blackbade Kindred, this is the thing near the Beastman Affair of uh, 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 fucking clergyman, right? It was, it was a good boss, I liked it. I didn't have too much trouble with it, even though it was like intended to be a later game encounter when you get get over to um, Kaled, which I guess is intended. Uh, Black Knife Assassin, this is just more, um, more of a Lecto, right? Which is... Okay, uh, Bloodhound Knight Darawil. I summoned Blade for this fight and just sort of stood there, so it was just meh. Uh, Clean Rot Clean Rot Knight was meh. Uh, Niall and O'Neill. They're both sort of interchangeable almost. O'Neill is the one that doesn't have the summons again, right? I think I liked. It looks like O'Neill is the one that that resummons things. I did not like O'Neill. I like Niall better than O'Neill. Dual Crucible Knights? Oh. Yeah. Fuck these guys. These are the things in the in the catacombs, right? At the end of that dungeon, there's two of them. Dude, fuck these things. These things mm. fucking suck. Uh, Crucible Knight Siluria? If it's a Crucible Knight, I'm putting it in terrible. <laughs> uh, Crystallians. This is single Crystallians? Or just is this Crystallians in general? I mean, they're, they're fine. They're okay. I mean, they're sort of just meh. Death Red Bird, I didn't do this, but fuck these things. I'm putting in terrible. <laughs> just because, even though I didn't do it, fuck it. Um, Demi-Human Chiefs and Queen, they're like, they're meh. Uh, DTS. DTS, huh? I did like it a little bit better than everything else. Is it better than Electo? Alabaster Lord? Yeah, I like that. Um, Dragonkin Soldier. Meh. Elder Beast. Elden Beast himself. Uh, matter of fact, let's just get this thing out of the way. Radagon is the bottom of F tier. Um, but Elden Beast. Elden Beast I didn't have a problem with. It was just Radagon. It was literally just Radagon. If they were two different fights, this would have been a different tier list entirely. Um, well, if there were two separate occasions, like if Radagon was one phase, or one boss, and then there was a little bit of a break, 
and then it, it was into Elder Beast, it would have been fine. But the fact that you have to do one one right after the other, it's just no thing. No. No. Fuck you, Radagon. You deserve the lowest depths of hell. Um, as such, Elden Beast. I really like that fight. I really liked Elden Beast. Or Tree Avatar. These are just the things guarding the trees. They're okay. A lot of them have the same movesets. They're just copy-pasted everywhere. Um... Putrid Tree Spirit. This is the one in, in um, um, Halic Tree, right? This one's fine. I mean, they're both like, okay. They're both okay. Fia's Champions. Oh, this is the gank fight, right? <sighs> yeah, fuck this thing. Esgar Priest of Blood. Oh, right. This is the thing with the, the, the blood weapon. Meh. Burial Watchdog. Meh. Falling Star Beast. I kind of like this. I kind of like the Falling Star Beast. Honestly. It wasn't like the worst fight. But it was... It was okay. Fire Giant. Fire Giant. Where do I put Fire Giant? If I'm honest... That might be a little bit of a hot take. But I kind of liked Fire Giant as a boss fight. It wasn't too difficult, but it, it wasn't as bad as I was expecting. It just sort of existed on its own, and granted, Torrent really helped. But there wasn't any, like, mega downside to the fight. Granted, it was tedious, yes, but I don't think that detracts from it being a good encounter. I'm gonna leave Fire Giant there. Uh, Duelist. Okay. All right. Uh, Adula. This is one of the dragons I actually did do. Eh, it's okay. Godefroy. 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 Just a copy-paste Godfrey, right? It's terrible. Godfrey's okay. Gold freeze, okay. Huh. Hora Lu's not on here. Where the fuck is Hora Lu? Interesting. Godric. This is the second boss of the game, right? Outside of the Grafton Sion. Godric. I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was sort of the... The first... Indicator that this game is different than the other Souls series, Souls Born games, that there's going to be some wake up calls and nothing prepared you for being roll caught by the first boss of the game. The Godskin Trio <sighs> Noble and Apostle. Duo. Hmm. Let me do Duo first. How bad was Duo? Is it worse? than any of these other bosses. Where the fuck do I put Godskin Duo? That's probably about right. Just because I can't really sum up my feelings for it. Let me, let me come back to them, I guess. Uh, Leonin, Misbegotten. I kind of like this fight. I kind of liked Leonin. Uh, Pumpkinhead. It's just a copy-paste. Mimic Tear is funny. <laughs> but meh. Malakath. Sorry, I'm jumping around. Grafted Scion. Grafted Scion is is a weird, weird one to rank, because I feel that it doesn't really do anything. Depending on if you even know you can come back here, it's sort of by the time you get back, you're you decimate it with no contest, so it doesn't seem any. It can't really go higher than meh. Because it's like such a weak boss in its entirety. Grave Warden Duelist. This seems like it's just a copy paste of another one out in the world. Um, Great Worm Theodrix. Um, this isn't the one I killed, right? The one I killed was the Magma Worm? I mean, I guess... Oh, wait, no, I did kill this. This was the one that helped me with... Or that was near... Carl. Pot. 
pot guy. Whatever the hell his name is. In Volcano Manor. Yeah, they're both meh. They're both the same thing. Uh, Knight's Cavalry is... Eh. There's like eight of them, so it's like meh. Every single time. <sighs> Which one's worse? Apostle or Noble? I think Noble's worse. I didn't really have too much trouble with Apostle. Yeah. They're both kind of meh. Honestly. But like, Apostle's okay, I guess. And Noble's meh. That's fine. I like that. Loretta. Loretta Knight of the Halic Tree. This is... Actual Loretta. I mean, they're both the same thing, right? They're both copy-paste. They're both... They're both kind of meh. Malekith. Hmm. Malekith, you say. I will not be elaborating. Margit. Sure. Where the fuck am I gonna put Renala? Omen Killer. Honestly, Omen Killer gets an F tier just because of those fucking dogs he has with him. This is in um a Benerick village. Yeah, fuck Omen Killer and those goddamn dogs. Um Moog Lord of Blood. It's okay. I think a lot of these encounters, I don't have much to say because I sort of cheesed a lot of them. Like Moog, I used the flask to counteract his thing. And then after that, it just sort of didn't do anything. I mean, it was just like a very easy encounter overall. So it just didn't really give me any better information about how to beat the encounter on its own. So uh, Morgoth... Honestly, it was okay. This is the one near the end of the game, right? It's alright. Um, Onyx Lord? Sure. Perfumer Trisha and Leone Misbegotten. Honestly, I don't like the Leone Misbegotten fight. Which means... Yeah, let's just bring this down. Sure. Hmm. There is a special place for you, Worm Fairies. Hold up. Let me, let me come back. Putrid Avatar. I'm, I'm jumping around. What do I think of Putrid Avatar? The... Because I left all of the avatars for like one fell swoop near the end of the game, I don't think I have the best opinion of them because they just sort of fell over. But all of the avatars are just sort of there. Which means where is the Erd Tree avatar? They're in okay? Yeah, that's fine. He can join their friend. Ah. <sighs> Renala. Renala. What do I say about Renala? Honestly, Renala is the second most tedious fight in the game behind Elden Beast. At least to me it was. I... Sorry. The third most. We'll get to the second one later. A lot of phase one is just running around dodging books that the field trip is throwing at you so I don't I, I spent a lot of my, my my run running around the the outskirts while they they shot just books uh, at the wall so made that part a little easier than I thought so but phase two is sort of I needed the ability to to dodge the dragon a little better I think if I had the ability to go back it would be a lot easier now and I wouldn't have as much frustration with it so I think I'm going to put it in okay instead of like terrible, which is where if I did this tier list earlier, it would have definitely gotten terrible. But the wolf is sort of just goes in meh. It doesn't, it doesn't deserve any higher than this because there's two of them. Why is there two of them? Um, Rykard is fine. Rykard is meh. Uh, Soldier of Godric is just a dude. He, he's just a dude. Um, Star Scourge, Radon. Radon is an interesting boss because he's always on a horse and he's always trying to get away from you. And I don't like that. But it's not the worst encounter. He has less health than I thought. So it's just like... Okay. Now, the second most tedious fight in the entire game. Tibia Mariner. Why is this the... 
Just why does this exist? It's just a dude in the in a boat. Just blowing a horn, trying to get his little dudes to come. He's just why? And there's three of them. Four? In amount of them. Why? <laughs> uh tree sentinel. Eh. UTS. This is the one in the Halig tree. Right? With the shitty fucking arena. Honestly, I'm gonna be I'm I'll put this in terrible. Just because of the fucking arena you have to face this guy in. It sucks so much. I got knocked off so many times by this thing. It was, it was unbelievably frustrating. And I, I, I don't ever want to do this again. Worm face. Worm face. Honestly, it's okay. Sort of just meh. Sort of just exists. Yeah, it's fine. Do I want to adjust any of these? Probably. Oh, wait, no. I did do this thing we know because he's the one that... that Invades me when I'm headed, trying to head to the portal over here. It was okay. It was fine. And I did do Smerag, right? Because he's the one. Smerag is a dragon. It's meh. I'm just gonna say Borealis is terrible. Just fuck the fog. I did a Gil. He was on a bridge, right? Oh. Okay. The final list in no particular order.